everyone, this is Andrea from This Knitted Life. I wanted to make you all a quick tutorial for how I work up my twist stitch. This is a stitch I've used in several of my designs so far, different variations of it anyway. I've used it on the twist cowl, the twist shawl, and also the Stormland poncho. And it's a pretty simple stitch. I'll show you how to work it. Basically, we're going to slip a designated number of stitches onto this double pointed needle and flip them over 180 degrees and just work them off the needle. I have several rows of stockinette done, so we're ready for our next series. Essentially, you can see this elongated stitch right here, and that's kind of the row where they get flipped. Several people sometimes um, email and ask if this little hole is supposed to be here, and the short answer is yes. It's kind of an artifact of flipping the stitches over, and it's part of what's gonna give the fabric, some texture, some dimensionality, and height. Although, as you, if you block your knits, that might flatten out a little bit. Um, and if that bothers you, just keep a lot of tension as you do your flipping and knitting your stitches on and off your needle and the hole should be a little bit smaller. Um, so I've been alternating series of three twists and two. This row that I'm gonna show you now has a, there's three twists in it. So I'm just gonna knit my first couple stitches. I have a, just a little small garter edge on my swatch here. And I'm going to just take five stitches. I'm going to just slip them right onto this needle, double pointed needle. And I'm going to flip them over 180 degrees clockwise. Um, I specify my patterns to go clockwise or counterclockwise, and, but really uh, as long as you go the same direction every time, you're going to be fine. It also really doesn't matter so much if you work the front leg of the stitch or the back. I actually do a little of both. But as long as you're consistent, um, because they basically get hidden behind the flip stitches. So it's not going to matter if you inadvertently twist something. So at this point, we've flipped five stitches in a twist. We've knit five stitches. You can see this first little twist. It kind of looks almost a little similar to if you were working in a cable holding stitches in the front or the back. but. So a little, the technique's a little bit different. So I'm just gonna slip five stitches onto this double point and needle. I'm just flipping them over 180 degrees, end over end. And I'm gonna knit them off. And this is my second twist on my swatch. It's got some scrap yarn. Here we go. Can I knit five stitches? See if I can count and talk. My math comes out right at the end. So, okay. And I'm going to do my last five onto the double pointed needle. I don't lose this guy, he's trying to escape. I'm going to, nice and slow, just flipping it over 180 degrees. Okay, and I'm going to knit him off the double pointed needle. There's so many needles, it's probably a little hard to see what's going on, but. And the nice thing about the stitch is you only have to bother with this every so many rows, every six rows, five rows, ten rows. And otherwise, you're just cruising along with stocking it. So you only have to pay attention sometimes. Anyway, that's the little swatch of the twist stitch, how to work it.